What's up guys? It's been a little while since I've done a day of eating and a long while since I've gotten a haircut, finally shaved off the mop. I was looking at those shorts I was posting. I was like, man, I look so much better with short hair. I gotta, I gotta cut it off. But um, we're gonna give you guys an idea of what I've been doing consistently for the past three years now to slowly but surely heal my liver, uh, overall recovery from Accutane I took when I was younger and then the eight years of the carnivore diet certainly did not make it better. This is pretty similar to what I showed you guys uh, probably a month or two ago. It's basically identical for breakfast here. We have the Iberico pork sausage. We have the oat birch benders pancakes mixed together, half flour, half oats, all organic ingredients. I did a recipe on that and our Classic honey crisp apple for dessert. Everything organic, reducing the toxins as much as possible, going really high quality for cellular health, and then supplementing things here and there to compensate for the negative health effects. That, that's kind of what's fixing the, the issue. Lately, it's been the copper toxicity, which uh, I'm gonna do some more blood work in a few weeks and talk more about that. But what I'm showing you guys today is what I've been doing to alleviate that. Uh, before we get more into this meal, I will show you guys, I have been taking the, the male virility supplement and then this is just a, a big bottle I have of the third eye powder, usually in the morning right when I wake up because then I'll either go to work for a few hours or I'll have to do something. I don't always have time for breakfast, but uh, I really like the third eye for you know the mental clarity and the omega-3 and the male virility gives me a little testosterone boost and some energy. So those are those are two things I've been doing consistently that have been helping me in the morning. And then if I do have time or when I get home uh, for a little break, I will make my breakfast. And it's the same thing across all meals. We have a small amount of very high quality animal protein to give our body the nutrition it needs. We have a balanced amount of starch and fiber so that the toxic bile coming out of the liver has something to soak into. And then the apple, is a little more of that. There's different types of sugars, which toxins can also bind to, and it's like a high volume, higher water food, uh, which is good for gut motility, keeping things moving. And supplement wise, uh, things have changed a little bit. For breakfast, here I have, uh, there's maybe, I don't know, 10 pills, but it's 30 milligrams of zinc. Uh, so from organsupplements.com, it's two of the zinc capsules. We have one molybdenum capsule, and it's very important to take zinc and molybdenum with every meal when you're recovering from copper toxicity because those two minerals are antagonistic to copper. Uh, they help prevent copper being absorbed from the meal and they also help excrete copper. So very important to, if I don't have both of those with every meal, I do notice a significant difference. I was doing just the zinc and then adding the small dose of molybdenum every meal really helped. Uh, then there's magnesium, which is required for the copper to bind to the ceruloplasmin. So if you take the zinc and molybdenum, that's fine, but in order for the body to transport it and get rid of it, you need magnesium too. So the zinc, molybdenum, and magnesium, I've been taking every day, but the magnesium, not every meal. And then we just have the vitamin B1. I take two capsules, which is uh, helping the carbohydrate digestion because when you have a lot of starch in the diet, especially with compromised liver function, the uh, body can be depleted of B vitamins very quickly. So we have two B1 and one B3, and then usually once or twice a week, I'll take the, the natural B complex, which has uh, all of the B vitamins. And that's been kind of making my blood work look a little better over the past few months in regards to the copper toxicity. So I take these at the start of the meal. And a lot of you guys ask, hey, Frank, isn't taking charcoal with your meal, is that going to inhibit the absorption of nutrients? But, you know, your digestive tract is is not like, it's not just one, you know, conglomeration of everything. It's not a giant bucket of food and nutrients. The digestive tract is like a tube. So, and I, I figured this out by reading some studies where, you know, zinc would inhibit the absorption of copper in certain parts of the intestine. So if you have zinc in the beginning of the meal, if you're eating a high copper food, it's not necessarily going to inhibit the copper that's at the end of the digestive system. Same with the charcoal. If you have a big meal and you're eating all this high quality food, your body's going to absorb most of it. And then when you take the charcoal at the end of the meal, it's like, uh, you know, the caboose on the train, you know? 
if that makes any sense. You know, it's, it's not all getting mixed together. The reason you take the charcoal and stuff at the end of the meal, and I didn't say it, but I, the, I think I forgot to mention, there's also three mastic capsules that I'll take here at the beginning, and then I'll have some more mastic powder at the end of the meal with one charcoal capsule. And the mastic prevents H. pylori, and it's also like a type of fiber resin that helps absorb some of the toxins. And then the charcoal soaks the toxins even more at the end of the meal. So uh, this combination has yeah, had me feeling good and sleeping a lot better, finally. But uh, yeah, I'll just give a quick summary. So beginning of the meal, we take the supplements, zinc, molybdenum, magnesium, B1, B3, and that's with breakfast. The lunch and dinner, you guys will see, it's a little less on the supplement stuff. We have the pork sausage, the pancakes, the apple with some glass bottle mineral water, a little bit of organic maple syrup. All this stuff, guys, is on frankiestrangefoods.com. The sausage is on frankiestrangemeat.com. And then at the end of the meal, I'll have maybe half a teaspoon of mastic powder with one charcoal capsule. Uh, when I'm not as busy and I have more time, maybe in, in a few weeks, I'll do uh, each meal individually, broken down, showing you guys everything instead of just explaining it here uh, because I got to get to work and I have some stuff to do, so I, don't, I can't sit here for an hour doing this. And there's also a few kinks I'm kind of working out, like I'm experimenting if I have to take other minerals or not. So hopefully a few more weeks I have, you know, more concrete uh, game plan for, for the copper toxicity. But for the most part, I've pieced everything together. So I'm going to enjoy my breakfast and uh, I'll see you guys when I get back from work for lunchtime. All right, guys, show you my lunch real quick. I was actually in such a rush this morning, I didn't even eat the apple. But this is really basic when I don't have time to make bread. Past few days I've just been doing white rice. We got a slice of pork ham and just white cannellini beans. You guys have seen this meal a few times. Uh, this is just corn and soy free pork from the local pork share. We're sold out on Frankie's Syringe Meat. I think we're going to have it back in about two weeks with uh, some more products. going to be pretty special. We'll see how that ends up. These are just the canned cannellini beans from frankiesurianfoods.com. Just put a little coconut oil and salt. And this is the organic basmati white rice. That's also on frankiesurianfoods.com. We just used bottled mineral water, a little bit of salt, a little bit of coconut oil on that. So it's a nice, simple balance of lean protein, starch, and beans. Whereas with the breakfast, you know, the starch was incorporated into the pancakes in the form of oats. This is more black and white in the sense that, okay, ham, Lean protein, white rice, starch, energy calories, beans, soluble fiber, some more calories, some minerals. The apple, we explained what it's for earlier. Just little enjoyment, little sugar, and the gut motility. I feel good eating that. If you start having like fruit juices and more concentrated sugars, that can kind of mess up your, your gut motility and give you irregular bowel movements. Supplement wise, uh, the difference is that this meal we're gonna reduce things a little bit. So the amount of vitamin B1 is gonna stay the same, especially because we're eating white rice. We did a, a video, I don't know, a few, a month or two ago on, on how people were getting B1 deficiency from eating too much white rice. Uh, so two vitamin B1, one molybdenum. Instead of having uh, 30 milligrams of zinc, we're just gonna do 15 milligrams of zinc, so only one capsule. And then just three massive capsules. So the difference is with breakfast, we had more zinc, vitamin B3, and magnesium. That's the difference. Yeah, so it's the same protocol as breakfast. I take the vitamins and minerals at the beginning of the meal. I eat everything, and then I'll take the mastic gum with the charcoal, usually after I eat the meal, before I eat my apple. And uh, that'll be that. Yeah, nothing too crazy to show you guys, but hopefully in a few weeks we have some more exciting stuff. Uh, but besides that, I guess we'll see you for a quick dinner. And we're back. Third time's the charm. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I put these new halogen bulbs in my light and they're making a buzzing noise. So apparently uh, I got to get some different bulbs that agree with that light. Either way, we are here for dinner with the same dinner I've been having for God knows how long now. I don't know if one of you guys want to do me a favor and uh, check, but... It's a big bowl of udon noodles with iberico pork. I mean, it's not really pho, it's, it's kind of like my own take on it. So the protein source is iberico pork strip steak. 
udon noodles, organic, made from hold hard red winter wheat, which is basically a minimally inflammatory wheat that I can actually eat. Uh, we have those noodles on the foods website, very special. I'm glad I found those because I wasn't really able to eat pasta anymore, and this has given me a lot of variety. The sauce that we cover the noodles with is collagen beef broth, and then our white bean puree, which is really just cannellini beans pureed with artichoke spread. Uh, I mean, as I've said a few times, guys, everything is available on the Meat and Foods website if you want to make this yourself. The reason I offer those products is because they're what I've used to personally uh, fix my own health through diet. So it's a balance of, and I feel like I'm repeating myself, but the protein, lean, starch, fiber, and, and most importantly, it tastes good. Every meal that I have tastes good. You know, we're not eating like plain beef and beans every single meal, which would be very, very horrible. So meals may be a little starch heavy, but there's definitely a lot of fiber in there from the bees and the artichokes. And I, I usually don't finish all of this, but sometimes I do. So I usually make the whole package of noodles. Supplement wise, we're just having uh, two vitamin B1 capsules to help with the carbohydrate digestion. And then we're gonna have uh, three mastic gum capsules. And then after the meal, we're gonna have just some, a little more mastic with the charcoal and then our honey crisp apple. So the main difference between this meal and the other meals is just that I don't go as heavy on the mineral supplements just so I sleep a little better before bed because you know the liver does have to process that stuff. So I'm gonna enjoy my dinner before it cools off too much. Uh, if you guys are interested in anything, you can see all my businesses on frankdefstefan.com and then just kind of peruse through all of them, whether it's the meat website, foods, organ supplements, Wi-Fi shielding, Frankie's Naturals, we have everything available. And uh, I guess that's really it. That, I think I said it earlier, a few new ideas I'm working on, always new products every week. Uh, we're going to give away free ice cream with all the meat orders this week so free vanilla ice cream with all orders and uh, hopefully we have some new products and new stuff available that i can also showcase and highlight in my day of eatings for you guys maybe we'll get uh, the hot dogs back the plain beef sausage so uh, we'll see but thanks again for joining guys and i'll see you soon <music>